I'm Shivik Chakrabarty. I'm the Internal Medicine Residency Program Director at the University of Oklahoma. I assume that if you're watching this video, you are interested in our program, and so my job is to discuss with you uh, some of the more unique and uh, interesting aspects about our program. All of us have a background in education in some way, so we all have a strong investment in education. Hi, my name is Andrea Medina. I am an internist here at OU, and I am an Associate Program Director for the Internal Medicine Residency. I'm from Oklahoma, born and raised. I studied at OU for my undergrad degree and came to OU for medical school. So my name is Brian Litch and I did my internal medicine residency training here at OU. And now I'm fortunate enough to serve as one of our associate program directors and our director of global health and social justice. I'm Ajay Nodding. I'm one of the associate program directors for the internal medicine residency. I think what makes our residency program so unique is that everyone here is committed to your education. I think one of the more unique aspects of our program is that we are a fairly large campus. We have 275 acres and 19 buildings that specifically belong to OU. In addition to that, we have three major hospitals that are all interconnected, the OU Medical Center, the VA Medical Center, and the Children's Hospital. We also have important standalone buildings like the Stevenson Cancer Center, which is a NCI designated cancer center, as well as Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, Dean McGee, and various other important buildings on campus. I think that being a large academic center, of course, we do have the advantage of having multiple subspecialties, um, different services available, so that we really get a wide range of educational opportunities, research opportunities. We have a wide variety of patients here at OU, both in the inpatient setting and in the clinic. We also see a lot of our underserved patients. Part of the reason why I chose to come to Oklahoma is because they are the major academic center in the entire state, which let me know that they will get referrals from all over the state and they will be taking care of the sickest patients from the rarest pathology with multiple comorbidities. I've seen significant changes in the didactics over the course of the last five years. We went to a systems-based format. We completely changed our research curriculum over the last two years. I got a lot of support from the faculty and other residents and it really provided an environment for me to strive and be better and I wanted that in my residency program as well. Uh, when I was choosing a program I was also looking what opportunities will I be having and another good element of uh, doing residency at OU is that it gives you abundant opportunity in ICU cardiology critical care units where residents get to do a lot of procedures. Everything, every service I've been on, every rotation I've done, I've felt um, like the, the education I've received was really thorough and I felt much more confident and more comfortable with the things I'm learning than I ever really thought I would. You were given just an appropriate level of autonomy that you were able to really independently practice but also sort of have a, a great teaching environment because the faculty were very reachable. I feel like I was very well prepared um, to move forward in fellowship. One thing I'd like for all applicants to owe you to know about is our global health and social justice program and through this program we're dedicated to providing care to patients from all walks of life regardless of their nationality, their background, or their socioeconomic status. I, w I always wanted to do like a global health rotation so we had this here in this program we were able to go with some of our attendings to Uganda and spent a month there. And with our Global Health and Social Justice program, it's really multifaceted in nature. One thing that we do is we have a longitudinal curriculum that goes throughout your residency. We partner with programs and physicians from all around campus to deliver quality lectures regarding social justice and what it means to provide care to patients. If you're new to research, there's still a place for you here if you want to do research. We have a research curriculum that is very inclusive and teaches the fundamentals of research um, all the way up to how to design a trial. So I'm very interested in hematology oncology. Not only did I really enjoy my rotations here, I got a lot of autonomy, I got a lot of great, really great teaching, but I've actually had co-residents come up with me and put me in touch with research opportunities that are kind of geared towards what I'm interested in. So I am always and will always be grateful to OU for the research opportunities it provided me. Uh, the dedicated time, the research months that I had, the effort that our, my department helped put in to plug me in with uh, research mentors, um, and the encouragement really for collaborative projects as well. The thing that stood out to me the most was the culture. Um, I think everybody here really gets along with each other. 
uh, is open-minded, is able to have conversations in a way that is productive for your learning and also for uh, patient care. Is not only that we have a lot of fellowship opportunities, but just how much support we get, not only from our faculty in the different specialties, but also from our peers. I think uh, the relationships really, like I would value the relationships I have with my attendings, with my co-residents my entire life. I know I can pick up the phone, call them at any, any point during the course of my career and that's something very valuable i was looking at residency program we are looking for a program that um that you know fits the need for education as well as my personal life the reason why i chose ou was um, i found it to be the best blend of uh, uh, education and the work-life balance that i was looking for at the time it was a big decision for us yeah. starting a family and to be fair like we never thought we'd be able to do it during residency i can say now looking back that i was absolutely supported i was allowed to be a mom i was allowed to grow as a physician and i felt like the two really didn't have to be in competition and and it really allowed me to fulfill my goals of being able to do both. You have time to grow as a doctor and you also have time with your family or with your significant others or to do things outside the hospital. I think one of my favorite aspects of Oklahoma City is it's a great place to raise kids. I have two teenage daughters now and it's been wonderful to see them grow up in this environment. There's always things for us to do on the weekends. The food industry is, is exploding. There are restaurants all over the place, uh, different districts to, to visit. My two main thing would be food and sports so for food you have a lot of variety of places here you have midtown you have paseo district and surprisingly for me there's a lot of mexican food so the city is part of the reason why we chose to come to ou because we were looking for a place that was a little bit bigger than where we're from especially while we're young and don't have kids so we'd have multiple things to do when we are off work Definitely pleasantly surprised once I moved here and I found how underrated Oklahoma City is. I love that it's such a cozy city that has everything to offer. Um, advantages, I would say it's really cheap. Uh, like I compare it to, the, to my friends all over the country, as you can uh, imagine, and nobody has the luxury that we have on a resident salary in terms of the space that we own and the amenities we have. OU is a family to us. OU is not just a medicine program. This is, this is our extended family. 